It's on. Okay, this little pin is driven out, which allows this arm to come off. Then this piece is pulled off, which there is a little uh, piston there, I guess you'd call it, a little arm. That comes off. Then you have this piece right here, which comes out after a bolt is taken off here. This piece comes off, exposing the diaphragm. This comes apart, and that's taken off. There's a little washer that holds it. The way this works is when the lever pulls it, in other words, when it's at idle, so you're at idle now, this valve is pushed down onto this seat, sealing it so no gases come in at idle. Then, as you come off of idle, the lever moves and lifts it. There's a little spring in here, too. I'm not showing you the spring. This comes off and lets gases in. The gases come in through here and come into the manifold through here. There's also this little valve seat right here, which goes on here, and it's held by a nut. Then at wide open throttle, this pulls here, which pulls this seat so it closes again at wide open throttle. So the way that it basically works is at idle this seat's here, at wide open throttle this seat's here, and in between it allows the exhaust gases to come in through here and go out through here. These are normally CAD plated gold. You can see just a touch of it left uh, there. Now where they normally go bad is down in here where these seats have been cut it erodes away and it makes big pockets. It's not uncommon to see them eroded out with a big pocket and a big pocket. What I've learned is if the anodizing is still on them, in other words if it's still gold, then this valve body is probably good. This is the part that Phil is working on. There's also a couple pins that come out. If you look over here where I'm pointing, Kathy's going to pan, these are the two that you sent and they're still assembled. And I'm going to come back over here, Kathy's going to follow you, follow me, and you can see here how this piece here is here with a nut around it. The nuts are eroded away by the exhaust gases. That's all that's left of it. And then the mechanism inside so that when you pull it like this, it moves that seat and closes it at wide open throttle and at idle the spring pushes down and pushes this one down which closes it. What has to happen on these old ones is that the seats have to be milled uh, somehow with maybe valve lapping compound so they seal up real tight at idle and at wide open throttle. Otherwise exhaust gases will upset the idle mixture. But Phil is making new bodies. He's making eight of them and this is the part that normally goes bad. The diaphragm which is this also gets cracks in it I notice this one may have a crack in it. I can't really. It, you can see that there's some erosion on it. You probably can't see it in the camera. But there may be one little tiny crack on this one. This one's mine. But it would be nice to have this part and this part because these parts are reusable. Also, this little tang right here, you can see where it's worn just a little bit right here from pulling on the pin there's a little pin right here. You can see it driven through. That hooks like this and it's worn from pulling. It would be nice if this piece could be remade, this piece, and this. But I would settle for just this and this because I think there's enough of these out there that we could get good parts to make them and sell some of them. Thank you.